In this video, I'm going to be going over six dog trainers that are not as well known as they should be. Some of these people in this list are very well known, actually, but still in some circles of dog training are not. And you'll see that these people right here that I'm going to be covering, they have accomplished a lot. So I'm going to be listing who they are, some of their accomplishments, and kind of what is it that they specialize in now don't disregard what they do as well they don't do what i do or, or you know they're sport trainers so they can't help me this stuff is very very relevant to everything you do the concepts of sport training are very much the same as pet training to some extent so make sure that you listen to every single one of these trainers that you follow them and make sure you like and subscribe to the channel while you're at it. First person on that list is Jerry Bradshaw. Jerry Bradshaw is the head instructor, the owner of Tar Heel Canine. And he's also one of the founders of the sport PSA. He is a competitor in PSA. He's a director uh, of PSA. And he runs a very successful business as a provider for police dogs and pet dogs when it comes to training a lot of people regard jerry bradshaw as just the police dog trainer but having listened to him already a, a couple of times in person and reading his book and listening to his podcast this guy is more than just a sport trainer he is an excellent dog trainer in general he understands learning theory he understands operant conditioning just having talked to him also you know like actually having conversations with him this guy knows his craft uh, i strongly urge urge you to uh, listen to him look him up uh, he's on social media he's on facebook he's on uh, instagram he's on youtube look up tar heel canine his podcast is controlled aggression and this guy just has amazing wealth of information when it comes to learning theory in general. Don't, don't just dismiss him as just a police dog trainer. This guy knows his craft. And any dog trainer, even if you don't work with sport dogs, you have got so much to learn from somebody who's dedicated so much of his time to this craft. I mean, this guy is passionate about what he does. You could tell every time he talks about dogs um, so strongly strongly recommend that you look him up next on the list is mike DeBruzzo. he is a dog trainer out of new york his business name is canine one which he founded back in 1998 this guy has been training dogs for a very long time he has an extensive list of accomplishments he's been featuring fox news cbs nbc animal planet He's also an expert uh, canine behavioral correspondent for the Inside Edition. He has trained dogs in just about every area of dog training from explosive detection to uh, search and rescue. He's done um, a lot of pet training and his YouTube channel is just filled with just amazing, awesome, awesome content. He also has a membership website called dog training world so it's dog training that world um, unfortunately the thing about mike de bruzzo is he's not as well known as he should be he's not as well known as some dog trainers out there but he is he's been a huge influence on me as a dog trainer and he's also trained a lot of other dog trainers so if you haven't heard of him you've got to look him up next trainer on the list is michael ellis uh, Michael Ellis is also a household name when it comes to sport training. Um, but if you look at a lot of these sport guys that are really good at what they do, everything really translates into pet training because the concepts are the same, which is timing, consistency, motivation, and just a very good feel for what the dog is doing at the moment, every single moment. So in general, I know a lot of people look at sport trainers and go, well, you know, that they're just sport trainers. You know, they're not dealing with people who, you know, whose dogs um, are just pulling. And that's just such an inaccurate thing to say. Um, you can be a very good sport trainer 
and still understand how to get Mrs. Jones' dog to stop pulling her. Uh, they're not completely different things. They're, they're very, very identical um, components that can be applied to each. But anyway, let's go back to Michael Ellis. Michael Ellis has been training dogs for over 30 years now. He's been a huge, huge uh, influence for a lot of people in the sport world. He was one of the first certified Mondial Ring decoys in the U.S., and he has a dog training school. So it's uh, Michael Ellis School. Uh, if you look up Michael Ellis Dog Training School, you're going to find his website on there. Um, so this, this is definitely a guy that, that I do listen to. Uh, he also has a lot of videos. He's been featured on a lot of videos in Learburg. Uh, he has a bunch of videos scattered throughout YouTube. Some of them are his. Some of them are, feature, are videos where he's featured. So really, really good source of information for a lot of people, um, whether you do sports uh, or whether you just do pet training, the concepts are the same. Okay, the next trainer I'm going to be going over is Barbellone. Barbellone is a huge, huge name right now in the dog training industry. He has a Nepopo school, which is a dog training school in which he extensively covers his particular system. And uh, this guy is very, very accomplished. This is one dog trainer that I really believe more people should know about. Now, the, for, the good thing about this is he is becoming more and more popular. The Napopo seminars are just becoming more and more popular. Uh, social media now giving him a huge platform is making him more and more well known. I've been following Barbellone for years and there are actually so many videos on YouTube and not necessarily from his channel um, but from other channels. If you just look up Barbellone on YouTube, you will see that there is just so many videos. Um, there is recorded videos of him giving seminars, uh, giving classes. Uh, it's just, there's literally hours and hours and hours and hours of video footage on Barbellone. Again, uh, not necessarily all from his channel, but videos in which he is featured extensively through many different accounts. Um, I've watched like every single one of those videos. There's so much good information on there. He's a very, uh, just very well-versed, very technique-oriented, um, and, you know, very, very um, learning theory savvy uh, trainer. So he is one guy that has also had a huge influence on me and continues to influence and teach so many people out there today. So Barbellone, if you haven't heard of him, you've got to look him up. Okay, next trainer on the list is Ivan Balabanov. He is a well-known name in the industry. He's a two-time world champion in, in IPO, Schutzen, and he's also worked with a lot of rescue dogs. This is something a lot of people don't know about him. He is not just a sport trainer. He has trained rescue dogs. He's worked with a lot of behavior modification cases. And he's worked with guide dogs as well. So his knowledge and expertise goes way beyond the scope of just the sports field. Uh, this guy has been a huge influence on me earlier in my career when I would um, you know, get stuck or if I started to just try to figure out how to train differently. I got a hold of his video, which is Training Without Conflict. And it was a huge game changer for me. So he has been a huge, huge reason as to why I train a certain way and why I have trained a certain way from early on. It was because of that video. So uh, Training Without Conflict is put out by Canine Training Systems, but um, Ivan also has a website where he has a series of video courses on there all about dog training from teaching the out to uh, engagement and, and all kinds of things. 
and that is trainingwithoutconflict.com. He's also on social media. He's on, uh, he says, train like Ivan, uh, Old Vitosha, a very, very well-known guy. So if you haven't heard of him, you've got to look him up. Another trainer that is not as well-known as he should be, but I think a lot of people would benefit from following him and, and watching his videos talking to him, learning from him, is Dave Croyer. Dave Croyer is a another sport trainer. He's, um, again, not, not just sport trainer. He's worked with a lot of dogs from pet obedience to police dog training to scent detection, um, dog diving, and, you know, naturally, uh, IPO, He's done Mondial Ring, French Ring. He's a Mondial Ring judge. He has been in world team for several years. He's won several championships. And he puts out a lot of information on his website, which is davecroyer.com. Uh, also, if he has a lot of stuff on Facebook, too. If you look up Dave Croyer TV or Dave Croyer, uh, his, his Facebook page, there's a lot of good information on there as well so this guy is very uh, well versed in operant conditioning as well um, very technical trainer too and just all around just awesome awesome trainer and i i believe that a lot of people i believe that more people should know of him than people actually do so this this is another guy that you've got to follow if you're not following him already this concludes that brief list. I want to also give a quick honorable mention to three of my mentors who have taught me so much from early in my career uh, through two different doctoring schools. So Roger Abshire, Rob Dunn, and Jesse Gabriel, you guys have taught me so much and, uh, and I owe a lot to you guys. But going back to the list, this is only a, a small list. There are all the dog trainers that are very, very impressive, that have accomplished a lot, that I, I just left out. I could not add uh, too many people to this list. These are the people that I really believe um, should be more well-known than they are and have the potential to help so many people once people are able to find them. Uh, fortunately, with today's social media age, Everybody has a platform. Everybody has a voice. And some really poor, mediocre dog trainers out there have amazing social media platforms. They're amazing marketers. And so whenever they say something, their whole fan base will take it as gospel. Unfortunately, there are people like that. And I know some of you listening are probably thinking, oh, you forgot to mention this person. You forgot to mention this person. This person should be on the list. And there's a very good chance that I know exactly who you're talking about. And no, the answer is they should be nowhere near this list. They should not be in the same category as Bar Balone, Ivan Balabanov, um, or some of the other people on that list. So if you have not heard of these guys, I strongly recommend that you look them up. They're amazing dog trainers that have contributed so much to the industry and will continue to do so again please make sure you like the video and subscribe